Hi, it's Catherine here with another page for Bow Bunny. This is called Blessed and it uses their new Stay A While collection, which is just beautiful colours and I kind of go for a patchwork theme. So I start off with some three inch circles and the French Vanilla Double Dot Damask. Then to create the squares, what I do is I score a half an inch in on each side of the circle and then I just flatten it down with my bone folder. I also end up sticking these edges down so that it will sit more flatly in my album but it's up to you, it will flatten over time. Now I'm going to arrange them in the diamond pattern across my sheet of French vanilla damask. So here I am just arranging them all. I'm leaving a gap for a photo which is just going to be slightly smaller than 6x4. And then I start to add them all and stick them down, trying to keep them in line. I do find that if you go around the edges first, um, it's easier. So if you do one edge and then the bottom edge, it makes it easier for you to stay in line. And I just fiddle with the arrangement where I want. It gives it a really nice mix of papers. I've used Stay A While, Neighbours, Relax, Thankful and Welcome. For the embellishments I'm going to use some of the stickers and also some of the warm tag sheet. So this is where this little brown house comes from which I'm going to add at the side of my photo. I also use the um, purple journal frame as well which is from Cozy. I did add a little tag sticker to the top of it but in the end I decided that would look nicer on a different project. So I'm adding my photo and I'm just starting to layer up my embellishments. I decide to add some of the natural earth lace as well to the bottom of my photo just to add a little bit more texture to the page. I do end up adding my photo on some foam pads as well just to help it sit a little bit more flatly. Um, a little bit of brown twine to the top of the tag. And then I use one of the blossoms. I love the little crochet flowers and um, I do actually cut it because they are so nice and I use the next part of it down with my title. So I do tuck it in so you can't tell that I've cut it at all. Um, but there it is underneath. I also add some wood shapes. Um, I think the hearts work really beautifully and just leaving them natural works very nicely with these papers and this colour palette with the browns. I also add a button from the beautiful Dreamer collection which it has a very similar colour palette to this as well. So coordinates really nicely. For my title I'm using the blessed stamp from Be The Light and carefully adding it onto one of the stickers. I also back the stickers onto some card just so I have a bit more freedom moving them around and when I create this cluster at the bottom I do actually slide in that last piece of crochet flower just so it coordinates with my other embellishment cluster at the top. Layering it up on foam dots. And there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this page. and It's a beautiful collection and if you want to see any more information, please have a look on the Bow Bunny blog. Thank you for watching. Bye.